Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I think the Vanguard S&P 500 growth ETF will beat the actual S&P 500 over the next year into 2025. All right guys, so let me tell you why I think that this great ETF is gonna beat the S&P 500. So S&P 500 guys, for everyone that doesn't know, is an index 500 high quality companies listed on the US Stock Exchange. All right, now there's strict entry criteria, which include a minimum market cap of nine, or 18 billion, positive earnings generation, and admittance is subject to the discretion of the index committee. The index is market cap weighted, meaning that larger companies have more influence on overall performance. So currently, for example, the technology sector has a 31.4% weighting due to giants like NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft. Okay, now enter the S&P 500 growth index. S&P 500 growth index exclusively holds 231, remember, S&P 500, 500. The growth index, 231 top performing companies from the S&P 500. The growth index has consistently outperformed the S&P 500 over the long term. A lot of people don't know this. The trend is likely to continue due to its focus on high growth companies. So let's look specifically at the Vanguard S&P 500 growth ETF. The ticker is V. OOG. It tracks the performance of the S&P 500 growth index by holding the same stocks with similar weightings. With 2025 guys approaching, this ETF is positioned to outperform the S&P 500 due to its composition. Now let me tell you why. Why this growth index outperforms year over year over year. It's because selection is based on factors like momentum and sales growth, which are often led by technology stocks. The tech sector has a 50.3% weighting in the growth index. Five largest holdings in the growth index in ETF are from the tech sector. These five stocks alone have averaged a return of 48.3% this year, driving the ETF's performance. The Vanguard ETF, guys, is up 24.3% year to date, outperforming the S&P 500's 19.1% gain. And these are the key drivers that are gonna push this into the future. First of all, AI. It's a major growth driver for the top tech sector, top stocks in the ETF. Apple recently unveiled its AI software, Apple Intelligence enhancing iPhones, iPads, Mac computers. Microsoft Azure cloud segment is growing rapidly due to AI integration. Nvidia's GPUs are critical for AI development, contributing to its 122% revenue growth in the recent quarter. That's another stock that I own. In fact, I own all three of these guys, Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, all fantastic companies. AI guys could be one of the most valuable tech revolutions with estimates of $7 trillion to $15.7 trillion added to the global economy by 2030. Look at the history of the Vanguard ETF. Since its inception in 2010, the Vanguard S&P 500 growth ETF has delivered a compound annual return of 16%. Compare that to the S&P 500's 13.7% average annual gain during the same period. You've got 2.3 percentage point difference, and that significantly in, uh, benefits investors through the effects of compounding. I mean, a lot of people discount what 2.3% can do over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's a lot. So what's gonna happen in the future? Early stages, guys. We are in early stages of the AI revolution, and that suggests continued strong returns for top uh, tech companies like Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia. Oracle's Larry Ellison predicts that AI spending could continue to grow for the next 10 years. Even if AI doesn't live up to expectations, the growth index will simply rebalance as needed to maintain its performance advantage. So therefore guys, 
the Vanguard S&P 500 growth ETF remains a strong bet for beating the S&P 500 in 2025 and even beyond. Guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a big like, a big thumbs up to help out the channel. Subscribe, guys, for more videos like this. And guys, I, I referenced this earlier that I own those three big companies. I buy individual stocks. That's my investing thesis. Even though this is a great ETF and even though a lot of people, I have good friends that have these ETFs, guys. I don't personally own any of these ETFs. I invest in individual stocks. That's just my portfolio, my philosophy. If you're interested in knowing what stocks I'm buying, subscribe to the channel. Every single week, I'm posting a video explaining why I bought this stock, why I bought that stock, because I buy a stock every week. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the Vanguard ETF down below in the comments. Can't wait to see what you think about it. And if you think that it's going to continue to rise in 2025, if it's going to beat the S&P 500, all that, let me know in the comments. And guys, I'll catch you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.